it's time to go beyond plus ultra Boku no Hero Academia Season 6 has started. Yep. I'm still in this basement because somebody decided I needed to be down here for both of these things. Yes, and um, if you don't know what he's talking about, we have also been reviewing Futo P.I., um, the season is three episodes, or two episodes from ending, as of this week, so we're going to be doing some double reviews for the next two or three weeks, so, hey, go back and watch those, or go back and watch our other reviews of Boko Season 4 and 5. I mean, we do it by episode by episode, same way we're doing it here. Yes. So, intro or outro? I I know, like, only one episode, you didn't have, like, a feel for them yet. I think I like the outro a little bit more. I'm still in the air. I'm not sure which one I like more. I definitely like the, the, the intro's visuals more. They look way better. Again, I may need to have, like, a few more weeks before they really gel with me. Yeah, yeah, same. Um, I will say this. I do like the part of the intro where fucking uh, Shigaraki's got a Kamina fucking cape on. Yeah? Just sitting here like, is he gonna point to the sky? Come on, put on some orange sunglasses. I really want a Kamina look going on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can totally play the part right now with that coat. With that, uh, that cape. And then, maybe around January, I'll be like, I kind of like the first intro better. <laughs> what? Yeah, who knows what the second one's gonna be. Yeah, because they usually flip out halfway through. Yep, yep. After episode 12 or 13, they'll flip over. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we start off with a recap from the end of the last season, where the... I believe they only... Yeah, there's that. There's also the recap that we get every season, which is us. All the people have superpowers and blah, 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 blah. Like, yep, you with know. the League of Villains merges with the Meta Liberation Army to become the Paranormal Liberation Front. Which, according to Shigaraki, the name's just a mask. It doesn't fucking matter. We're all just gonna go on a rampage and do whatever we want. Yeah, um... Let me pick several words out of this hat. Okay, this is what we're called. I really don't give a shit what our name is. Whatever the fuck you people want. Just listen to me and we're going to tear down the current reality. I, uh... I still think Twice is... I'm not too sure if he's like pure comic relief, but he does have some good funny bits. I mean, he's a legitimate threat, too. Especially considering, like they mentioned, he's gotten over his, uh, or at least for the most part, gotten over his uh, trauma. Mm -hmm. Of, am I the real me? Yep. So, now that that's happened, he's a way bigger threat than expected. Yeah. Before, he used to be too afraid to use his powers. Now it's like, oh no. All the time now. So, he goes to Hawks for advice. How do I get people to like me, Hawks? What do I say? You're so cool, and I suck. You're a nice guy, Hawks. Nice guys always protect their friends, right, Hawks? We're friends, right? That's pretty much the entire conversation. And Hawks is just like, man, this guy is very trusting. If it wasn't for the fact that he's literally trying to tear down society, I'd probably be his friend. Like, his legitimate friend. But that whole, you know, tearing down society thing, mm, yeah, it's a little, it's a problem. Yeah. Um, since I led most of Futo, um, I'm going to have you take the lead on these. Alright, uh... We kind of get a little bit of a breakdown at one point about how, like, the, uh... Remind me again what they're called. Because um, the, the name doesn't fucking matter. Paranormal, Paranormal Liberation Front. That's it. And we how they're, like, bit... split into subgroups. 
Yeah, that are all have different like color coded names. Now, why they decided the, the one that weirdly sticks out is Carmine, which while technically a color, it's a weird choice for the color because all the other ones are just plain black, green, brown. Why they're that? Yeah, most of them seem to have two people in charge, except for twice. Twice seems to be the only one in charge of the Black Regiment. Well, maybe because he can duplicate? Maybe? I don't know. It's an interesting choice, though, to have him as the only leader. And I didn't write down the group names of them. I mean, it's quite literally, like, black. Oh, oh, wait, no, hold hold on, hold on. I did miss it. They do actually have, like... The black one is the Vanguard Action Tactics Regiment. Yeah, they all have Vanguard something-something. Uh-huh. Uh, the Violet Team is the Vanguard Action Guerrilla Warfare Regiment. The Vanguard Action Intelligence Regiment is uh, the Carmine color, the yellow. The Vanguard Action Support Regiment is brown. So there's four of them. I thought there were more. And meanwhile, we get recap, recap, recap. Twice as BS. What else goes on here? It's kind of doctor. Be... Oh yeah, Dr. Robotnik's back. Dr. Eggman's here. And I did find it a little bit interesting that the first episode of this season wasn't a original story. Yeah, we're not getting a lead in this time. Yeah, because I we're, think... We're breaking immediately into the action. Yeah, I think for seasons four, five, there was that. I don't quite remember if season two or three had a free floating intro. Yeah, there wasn't an, a free floating one. I think they're going, they're diving right in. If they have something, it might be saved for in between. Yeah. Either way, Doctor Eggman's here. He's walking along. He's like, I'm the, I'm the best man. Everybody likes me. I've donated to multiple hospitals. Totally not have been uh, stealing quirks from people at all. Nope, not me. Nope, not at all. I'm the doctor everybody likes. Hey, your nurse, how's it going? Uh, yep. So they realize that, yep, this guy's been uh, bioengineering Nomu. Uh, so all of the heroes are getting together and like, all right, look, we're going to raid this place. We're going to take the doctor in. We've got someone undercover who's been giving us the information in the hospital. They even found out through a picture one of them took of him getting into a secret passage in the back of the morgue where he's photoed from behind with like the little teleporter Nobu coming up to him. Johnny? So they got him. I think that was the name. Yeah. Like Johnny. And is this mysterious informant supposed to be Hawks or somebody else? It's somebody else that was in the hospital. Mm, okay. The Hawks is working like the main compound, I think mm, okay, main okay. meeting area for the, Paranormal Liberation Front. That's In fact, I... I don't even know if they're aware of the Doctor outside of Shigaraki. Okay, because I was thinking it's probably not Hawks, but 5% of me was like, is it though? Yeah, I don't remember if anyone except Shigaraki knows about the Doctor right now. I don't even know if his other partners know, like Toga and them. Mm. Okay, okay. I'm not even sure. Because this Doctor... Remember, was good friends with all, all for one. one. Yep, right hand man helped create the Nomu originally. And this doctor doesn't have a quirk, except he does kind He's of. He's been hiding the fact that he has a quirk, which, which is well. Here's the more interesting thing because I don't, I don't know if this was established before or if I just wasn't remembering. I think I'm not remembering, because the more I'm thinking about it, the more I think it did happen, and I just didn't remember it. So, what I'm seeing here is, we're going to have two teams. One is going to the Mountain Villa, and I believe that's the one where I think the Nomu are hiding, or at least the mo like the main amount of them, or, or maybe that's the Liberation Arc. Yes, that's where the army? Liberation Army is hiding. That's it. Okay. Yeah, so they're going in on the Liberation Army itself. Meanwhile, Endeavor's team is going to the hospital to capture the Doctor. Yes, yes. That's what I believed was the case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which we don't... We only see the hospital thing go down, I think. I don't think we see the others. Um, I'm going to say the other team will be in Episode 3 of this season. 
because it, it could be, or it'll flip sometime in next in the next episode. Yeah, because it does seem like we're sticking with the hospital team next episode. Yeah. So you know we're going in. The teams have been all split up among you know uh, each side. The students are in among the rear guards and stuff, working with whatever team they're held to be fit with best. And Bakugo is so upset he's not on the front lines. Why am I in the rear? What the fuck is this? I make things explode. Oh, I'm better up front. To be honest, the only reason I see him as a rear guard is to help people evacuate faster. Just yeah. because he is quick enough with his explosions. But he makes a solid argument as to why he's not up front. Outside of just, you're a student. We kind of want to make sure you don't immediately die. Also, they point out AoE. But I mean, again, Bakugo has explosions. That seems very AoE to me. Hell, Mina has, like, acid that can fly everywhere. I was going to say, although granted, I guess Mina can't, like, direct it as easily like it's it's uh more dangerous to both sides than just the enemy yeah and we did have a cut to best girl who was just chit-chatting toru toru is best girl she is the cutest nope jiro i will take jiro all day every day she's just crouching there looking badass toru is best girl she's gloves and a pair of boots and maybe a belt she is the most adorable character. Oh, here was the fun part, too. Like, people are, we got a shot of the city, and people are just, like, walking around like, huh, here I see the missing. What's going on? It's kind of empty here. Usually you see a cell of them. And Sliden goes just zipping along, just being like, huh, why is everybody missing? And then a big old hero boy, I forget if we ever got this um, guy's name. Death Arms? Uh, comes up behind him, gives him a bear hug, and he's just like, hey, buddy. You're the only ones that didn't get to know about this stuff. And I think he was just put under arrest. Now, Death Arms, to me, that sounds like a villain name. Does kinda. Although, then again, Bakugo wanted to call himself Lord Explosion Murder at one point. Right. Okay, like, there's that, but I'm still going to say Death Arms still sounds like a villain name. I don't know what his quirk is, so I don't know how accurate the name is. So I, I'd have to know what the quirk actually is. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, <laughs> Death Arms Gundam? There's... There, <laughs> wait, no, never mind. Death Army Gundam. I misread that as I was typing. I don't uh, know if that's much better, but okay. <laughs> uh, Death Arms, his quirk... Does it say? Unnamed arm strength quirk. Death arms quirk grants him a superhuman level of strength in his arms. He is able to lift things that are so heavy they could only be moved by industrial machinery. Cool. Uh, I mean, it works. I'm struggling at the moment, at least, to think of a, a, something that would be better in that in that name. You know, without, like, starting to get hokey with it anyway. Um, just saying he has a 5 in power, but a 1 in speed. I mean, what if he ran on his hands? Ooh. Would he be faster? I'm not too sure if, like, powerful muscle in his hands would deal with speed. What if he ran on his fingers? Like Thing from the Addams Family. It crawls around that way. I, I'm I'm not sure. I mean, we look like uh uh uh, Midoriya shouldn't be fast, but I mean, you know, because his ability is just strength, right? For the most yeah. part. Well, that you see how fast he moves with his quirk. Well, I'm not too sure now if all for one, one for all has speed Wait, in it. <laughs> That's the question, though, isn't it? Because, like, it says it's a power-storing quirk. What specific power are we talking about? Because we've always been kind of given the idea that it's strength the whole time. Right. But Does it store speed? Well, if you push off the ground with your feet hard uh -huh. enough... Uh -huh. you could... And what if you do that with your fingers? 
I'm not too sure. Do you where I'm going with this? Yes, I, I, <laughs> I see where you're going, but I'm not too sure if he could handstand. Well, I mean, it, again, arm strength. The other option would be to do it like a gorilla. Huh. Just knuckle walk. Do it that way. You have the same results, I would think, because it's arm strength, not just fingers or hands. Yeah. So we cut back to Dr. Eggman just walking down the hall saying, like, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm all for one friend. And well, the Rocky should be ready in like a couple weeks. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure glad there's no blue hedgehog around here. <gasps> and then he gets cornered by Endeavor's team. Uh, yep, after he breaks into the hospital, gets the others to, like, run out and evacuate the uh, the compound. Sends ahead our rabbit hero that everyone is lusting over half the time. Yeah, and... and... by that I mean the fan base, not, not the show. Really? Fan base really likes Mirko, I'll tell you that much. Huh. Really like those bunny thighs, I guess. Not doing it for me. <laughs> Give it some time. <sighs> But, um, what, yeah, what? No, are you uh, saying, Mirko's, are Mirko's you saying now ahead. that I know the fan base likes it, I will like it because I am part of the fan base? I'm saying that you haven't had a lot of time with this character yet. But? Because she's got a very Mordred attitude, let's put it that way. But, but, come on, man. Toru. Toru is best girl. Toru is I so. I don't know. That Toru, is she. Toru is so wonderful. She is gorgeous. Where where is the Mordred personality though? I know you're. I know you like Mordred because of that at, attitude of hers. Not every anime female I like has to be Sundari. Eighty percent of them. Saying Sundari, Mordred's just an asshole sometimes in general. Doesn't have to have anything to do with being interested in her. Why are you calling Mordred an asshole? <laughs> because she is half the time she murdered Arthur she was jealous come on Mordred Mordred apologist over here Jesus but come on Mordred she's amazing I'm just saying alright Mirko's battle happy Mordred's battle happy It they got a, they, there's a bit of overlap that's what I'm saying but who is best girl in the Fate franchise Mordred or Rin Mordred Rin. I don't know. Maybe Mordred it's the one whose face Rin. gets plastered on a lot of characters. Mordred or Rin. I don't I, hear an argument yet. I I can't decide. One has a saber face, so you know. Right. Therefore, I think it's the original. I don't know. I can't decide. <laughs> this is where he'll be sitting up in the middle of the night contemplating his existence as he tries to decide which one is better. Yes. But I'm glad I don't have to make that decision with this one. Toru is best girl. Sure, okay. Whatever makes you feel better. Anyway, point is... Yes! Let's move on! Marco is running off to go and break straight into that secret passage right away. Uh, Good old Endeavor is there like, we're gonna pin him down. And uh, Eraserhead's there, shutting down any quirk he might have that they are unaware of. Turns out it's uh, supposedly a, uh, a anti aging quirk. Well, they they said something about the super regen quirk, which is what I assume is keeping him from looking old and his cells dying. Okay, which is what's keeping him look somewhat young. Interestingly enough, he does manage to get away, quote unquote, get away. No moves break in. Stab him through. Turns out he's one of twice his clones. Yeah! Which, I didn't remember that they could pass, like, they could duplicate the quirk as well. I didn't remember they could shapeshift. Sorry, that means twice, now I'm thinking about it, that means twice is at least aware of the Doctor. So we know for sure twice and uh, Shigaraki are aware. I, I don't remember if the others are aware of his existence. Um, I'm thinking some of the nine, maybe... Yeah, some of Shigaraki's original group probably know. I, I don't remember if they were all there or not. Mm. They might have been because... No, they are aware of him because they he talked to them through the radio that uh, Gigantamax or whatever his name was was carrying. Yeah. They know of him. I don't think they've ever met him. 
until twice, obviously, because he had to make the clone. Either way, actually, no, they did meet. I, I think they did meet him in season four or five. I know it's not Gigantamax because that's Pokemon. No, it's like Gigantes or something like that. Or that's like his quirk name, one of the two. No, they did meet him at one point because he gave them that test to, like, you know, survive, like, the Gigantes dude for, what was it, like, seven days or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, they did meet him. So, yes, th- those nine at least are aware of his existence and know him. Whether or not they've met prior, besides twice making a clone, who knows. Anyway, point is, it's a clone. Uh, real doctors down in the secret passage trying to save all the work before the heroes break in. Doesn't work. Mirko gets there real quick. Speedy bunny. And smashes, um, Jerry or? Yeah, D- Johnny. Johnny. Smashes the door, which crushes Johnny underneath it. Gigantamax Not... Machia. Oh, it is Gigantamax. Or Gigantamachia. I think it's Gigantamachia. So, yeah. Doctor's trying to save things. Doesn't work out. Mirko's here. End of episode. And it seems that their fight or something akin to that will happen next time since the trailer was talking about her a lot. Yep. It seems, well, it, from what we saw, a bunch of Nomu are going to break up or wake up or what have you to fight her. At least one other hero is going to show up because we do see one fending them off with what looks to be some kind of shield that he, like, materializes in front of him. Right. So, I'm really happy Boku no Hero is back. Uh, hey, something to be excited for. Something yeah. that's not Kamen Rider. Um, we probably will not be covering... Mob Psycho on a week-to-week basis, but we'll probably have a episode of the anime podcast, maybe just us two, breaking down the season. Yeah, Yeah, just talking back and forth about it, shooting the shit about it. Yeah, yeah, so stay tuned for that in about 13 weeks or so. Be sure to check out our other stuff we do. And... Go check out the Twitch channel, watch us play Elden Ring and die a lot. Oh, Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Uh, y- a like, a subscribe, just uh, just do, do a little thing. Follow us over on Twitch. Yes. Do all, do all the social stuffs. Yes. So until next week, when I will probably have an outro or something to get to that. We'll catch everybody next time. Bye.